Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to share why my app was initially rejected and what steps I took to address it. This isn't a guaranteed formula to get every app approved, but I will walk you through my experience with the review process. Hopefully, it will help answer some of your questions you might have in mind. Let me quickly introduce what my app does. Basically, when you are on the move, it automatically drops pins along your path. The goal is to help you save the routes you have taken using this app. You might want to remember which streets you walked on during a trip abroad or while hiking. If you are walking, the app drops pins more frequently. And if you are driving on a long road, it drops fewer pins. If you stay where you are, it won't drop any pins, it waits until you are moved enough to drop a new pin. You can easily start a trip, stop it when you are done, and lock it to archive the route without making any changes. Let's take a look at what happened on the App Store Connect. This is the app we are talking about. You can view the history of app review decisions in App Store Connect. As you can see, my app was rejected twice before finally being approved for distribution on the App Store. Let's go over the review notes. The app review specialists believe that the app did not offer enough functionality to users. I reviewed the guideline they referred to. However, I believe my app does provide meaningful value to users. To the best of my knowledge, similar functionality is not commonly available on the App Store. Most importantly, it functions exactly as intended and aligns well with its goal. I suspected that the app review specialist may not have tested the app while on moving with it installed on a device and therefore didn't observe that pins are only dropped while in motion. So, I provided a detailed explanation of the concept behind the app. I also referenced a similar existing service and highlighted what my app does differently to emphasize that it's not a repackaged or cloned feature. Unfortunately, the reviewer didn't provide any specific reason for why he or she believed the app didn't meet the required criteria. So, I removed my app from evaluation and resubmitted it, hoping that a different app review specialist would handle the review. This time, I was lucky that the app review specialist who handled my app was ready to help. As I expected, I received the same feedback as before. Additionally, I was given a new feedback regarding the purpose string I used when requesting the user's permission. This was the original explanation I provided, and here is the updated version based on the feedback. After making the necessary changes, I uploaded the new version of my app to the App Store Connect. Additionally, I replied to the app review specialist with a detailed explanation of how my app works and the value it offers to users, just as I had done before. I also asked if there was anything else I needed to address or improve. Fortunately, my app was already providing sufficient value to users, so my explanation was enough for the app review specialist to approve it. As a result, the app was approved for distribution. I created this video to tell every iOS developer out there, if you believe your app provides real value and deserves to be on the App Store, don't give up and ask for help. App review specialists are there to assist you and provide feedback on your app. You can also include additional explanations about your features and how they work, especially if some aspects aren't immediately obvious at first glance. 
Feel free to drop a comment below if you want to share your experience with the app review process for others who are looking for additional information beforehand. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video to support us.